And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam died on Monday, the 12th of Rabi'u al-Awwal. So actually, nowadays, those who claim to celebrate the Mawlid, they are celebrating the death of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because that's the day that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam died. Monday, Rabi'u al-Awwal, the 12th. The day he was born is not known. It's not known. It's not confirmed by authentic narrations. So they are celebrating an illusion. You see. And the companions of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam were more loving for their Prophet than anyone else. And they did not celebrate the birth of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because the Prophet did not tell them. Otherwise they would. And until 500 years after the death of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, no one in the Muslim country, countries celebrated the so-called birth date of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. No one. The first ruler who ordered this was when the Fatimis were the rulers of Egypt. They ordered this celebration. They said, since the Christians celebrate the birthday of Jesus, then our Prophet Muhammad is more worthy to make such a date for. Something from their mind an innovation. That's why there is no one amongst the four Imams who says that the celebration of the birth of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is favorable or is Sunnah. No one. Not Imam Abu Hanifa, not Imam Malik, not Imam Shafi'i, not Imam Ahmad, no one. And until the year 500 and something of Hijrah, no one knew such a, a thing in the Islamic country. There was, there was no mentioning of such a thing.